because they kept doing that awesome drum beat and my G7X died on me uh, and this is already the spare battery because I've been out all morning recording I think we're gonna go back to the hotel and um, charge the batteries Ask a couple of questions. Is that all right? Here? Yeah. yeah. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you guys protesting? Well, we have to get some uh, good benefits, and I don't agree, for Sanabu. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. I see. So it's, it takes a while. The conference. Come on. We are still having a meeting. We gotta find out by till tomorrow. It's a lot of, a lot, of, a lot, a lot of. How long have you guys been up here? It's about. A week, a week already. A month. A month. A week. Oh my god, hey, you guys are not working? No. We're still on strike. And I, I hope you guys get whatever you want. Huh? Yeah. All the best, man. All the best. You work at NASA? No, I'm just. I just. It makes me feel like an astronaut. Uh, I know. <laughs> All the best, man. All the best. reach my destination near my hotel it got quite dark already as you can see behind me I think I'm gonna get dinner or something but I don't know where to get it actually so I passed by this place a couple of times en route to my hotel and I thought I'd give it a try Me I? Is it alright? Okay. Uh, I don't want to keep drinking. A big slice of uh, big slice of pepperoni pizza and two beer for dinner. I'm back at the hotel, I'm just gonna edit some videos, watch some TV, and uh, probably go to sleep. Good morning, America. Today, US Pacific time, 14 November, 7.46 AM. Pretty cold day in San Francisco as usual, and we're gonna go somewhere. I don't even know if I should be talking here as the strike is going on nearby and I fear that the microphone will not pick it up but but anyway it's my last full day here in San Francisco flying out tomorrow morning very early in the morning in fact as usual gonna make the best out of today wish I could explore the city a bit more and I'm uh, not ready to live it yet <laughs> who knows maybe I'll be back I'm not, I'm not sure I think we're gonna go and visit uh, famous landmarks today and we'll see where I'm gonna go from there This place called uh, the Crepe Cafe. Turkey and egg uh, crepe, and I don't know what it's called, top or something. Perfect crepe. Awesome meal at the Crepe Cafe. Sadly, I couldn't finish it because the portion is too damn big. There's one thing about the United States though food portions here are bigger than those in uh, Southeast Asia, probably. But nevertheless, I really enjoy the food though. Taking the F trolley to um, the Altacrest ferry terminal. We're gonna visit Altacrest Island.
last one to leave the ferry. This time, stepping into Autocrest Island. I think the tour has just started or something. We got everybody have one up one, so we're gonna make, we have a, I just have a short little orientation for you. We'll try to make it as quick as possible to, so you can get out of the smoke here. To get this out, there's a little bit of inclination, about a 13-story climb, about a quarter of a mile. Everyone seems to be heading to the first building, but for me, I'm gonna go further down the road. I don't know where I'm going, but let's just go. <laughs> Very spooky. in there must have been nice staying here just reach the top of Alta Crest the main prisons building I'm Pat Mahoney, former Alcatraz Correctional Officer, and I'll be your guide. I served seven years on the rock. Like the prison now. You were a number, you weren't a name. I wasn't Jim Quill, and hell, I was number 586. Everybody wants to be an individual. They want to be a... On your right, this was called the cutoff. The Alcatraz cell house opened as a federal prison in 1934. Within these walls lived the country's toughest, most dangerous, and most famous prisoners. As soon as you exit the cutoff, immediately turn right onto the next quarter. It's called Broadway. On your right, find cell number 113. Stop and look inside. Had a metal tabletop and a little chair there, and that was about it. Beneath it is the area prisoners call Times Square. One of their favorite privileges was the recreation yard. The most pleasant place, I believe, on Alcatraz. Prisoners who chose not to behave ended up in a harsher place, isolation. D Block was a prison within Alcatraz the treatment unit. Move a few steps into the room and find a place to stand. Unruly or violent prisoners were sent here. They stayed in their cells 24 hours a day. Walk through the nearest doorway marked library. This was a prison library. You put your request on a library card. If the book was available, they'd bring it and put it in bars for you. Prisoners with reading privileges could subscribe to approved magazines. Yeah. On Alcatraz, guns were never carried down here on the floor, only up in these galleries. Turn left. Look, look for four small windows in the wall on the right. They're marked visitation. The prisoners called this peek and play. We're now entering officer's country. Walk along the left side of the corridor. We're passing the prison control room on your right. This is a typical Alcatraz officer's uniform. Just to the left of the plaza is what remains of the warden's house. The prison opened in 1934 under the strict discipline of Warden James Johnston. I think if it wasn't so foggy, you can see San Francisco just across the bay. Directly ahead of you is the dining hall. Step through the doorway and move toward the bars at the back of the dining hall. Three times a day, all the men in general population gathered here for 20-minute meals. Feel free to sit on one of the benches. Alcatraz, I don't think you ever heard anybody say anything disparaging about the meals. At the end of three decades, over 1,500 men had served time on the rock. By then, Alcatraz had served its own time. Early in 1963, Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy 
ordered Alcatraz closed. Goodbye, and thank you for visiting so, Alcatraz. that concludes my tour of the Alcatraz prison. I'm going to go back to San Francisco and visit another prominent San Francisco landmark, the Golden Gate Bridge. I've just realized that half a day has been concluded. I think I'm going to continue my visit to the Golden Gate Bridge in the next vlog. So, um, we'll see you in the next one. Let's go, won't you see?